In the shimmering heart of Saudi Arabia's ambitious dreamscape lies the line, a beacon of innovation that promises a glimpse into the future of urban living. This captivating journey will unveil its awe-inspiring vision, showcasing advanced technology, sustainability, and boundless luxury. Yet, beneath the polished facade, the line casts a long, ominous shadow on the lives of indigenous communities. Explore how this groundbreaking project, while a testament to progress, may come at a profound cost to those whose ancestral homes are threatened. Join us as we venture into the extraordinary world of The Line, where innovation meets the unsettling reality of displacement and discord. Welcome to the future, where roads and cars are a thing of the past, and cities are reinventing themselves to tackle the challenges of the 21st century. Enter The Line, a groundbreaking development in Saudi Arabia that promises to reshape the concept of urban living and sustainability. With a length of 170 kilometers and walls taller than the Empire State Building, this megacity is set to revolutionize the way we think about urban planning. In the realm of the line, cars and roads are conspicuously absent. Instead, this futuristic city relies on advanced technology and artificial intelligence to bring everything residents might need within a 5-minute radius. Imagine a world where transportation is seamlessly integrated, and you can easily access schools, hospitals, and leisure facilities without stepping into a vehicle. It's like living in a sci-fi movie, only it's becoming reality. The Line is part of the NEON Project, a grand vision by Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman MBS, to transform a vast desert area into a global crossroads. NEOM aims to reinvent the concept of a city, incorporating cutting-edge technologies and sustainable practices. With partnerships with renowned architectural firms like Morphis and Zaha Hadid Architects, Saudi Arabia is positioning itself as a global leader in forward-thinking urban planning. Promotional materials for the line proudly proclaim its commitment to zero carbon emissions and environmental preservation. The city plans to preserve 95% of the land for nature, creating a haven for wildlife amid the modern concrete jungles. In a world grappling with climate change and rising sea levels, the line presents itself as a beacon of hope, emphasizing its location at the crossroads of global trade routes. The images of diverse individuals from around the world further amplify the promise of a multicultural utopia. The line envisions a life where the hassle of traffic jams and congested highways are a distant memory. With its reliance on advanced technology, residents can enjoy a seamless experience where everything is just a short walk away. This novel approach to urban planning challenges conventional norms and introduces a new era of connectivity and convenience. The line positions itself as a sustainable city, prioritizing the preservation of nature and minimizing carbon emissions. With its commitment to utilizing renewable energy sources and reducing waste, this megacity has the potential to be a powerful ally in the fight against climate change. By integrating technology and innovative design, the line aims to create a harmonious balance between human progress and ecological preservation. While the line is an ambitious and awe-inspiring project, many skeptics dismiss it as nothing more than a fanciful dream. Critics argue that the glossy, computer-generated graphics may not translate into actual infrastructure. However, Crown Prince MBS remains undeterred and is determined to bring his vision to life. With Saudi Arabia's thriving economy, fueled by the success of industries like oil, the financial backing for the line seems secure. In this land of skyscrapers, artificial moons, and cutting-edge technology, it's essential not to let the glitz and glamour overshadow the realities of human rights abuses and indigenous displacement. Conflicts with the Huaytat tribe have highlighted the darker side of this megacity's creation, with violent clashes and forced evictions staining the journey towards progress. The world must not turn a blind eye to the plight of these vulnerable communities and their struggle to maintain their ancestral homes. While the line is marketed as a home for all of us, the reality may be quite different. The focus on elegant mirrored facades and extravagant design features hints at a luxury haven catering primarily to the wealthy elites. 
With an estimated cost of over $1 trillion, it's clear that this megacity is not for the faint of wallet. The absence of any mention of low-skilled jobs raises concerns about the economic opportunities available for those who are most vulnerable to the impacts of climate change. As the world grapples with the challenges of climate change, it is crucial to address the disproportionate impact on the global poor. The United Nations warns that the most vulnerable communities will suffer the most from the consequences of a warming planet. For these future climate refugees, safe and affordable housing, along with economic opportunities, are often out of reach. While the line promises an elegant work-life balance, the high prices and automation of services raises questions about who will benefit from this vision of the future. The line presents an intriguing vision of a futuristic megacity that challenges conventional urban planning. With its emphasis on sustainability and advanced technology, it aims to be at the forefront of a new era of urban living. However, it is essential not to let the allure of the line blind us to the human rights abuses and exclusionary nature of this grand project. Ah, uh, human rights abuses. Just the thing you need to ruin your day and make you question the sanity of the world we live in. Sadly, Saudi Arabia doesn't seem to be immune to this issue either. Enter the Huayta tribe, a group of indigenous people who have been living peacefully in Saudi Arabia's deserts for centuries. Well, at least they were living peacefully until their land caught the eye of the crown prince and his grand vision for the line. You see, the line isn't just a majestic mirage rising from the sand, it's also an unfortunate cause of conflict between the Huaytat tribe and the Saudi government. And, as we all know, conflicts between indigenous communities and governments have a tendency to turn violent. Surprise, surprise, it happened here too. One brave Huaytat man dared to stand up against the eviction order by posting videos online. Okay, maybe that wasn't the smartest move, but can you blame him? He just wanted to defend his home, his land, and his way of life. And how was he rewarded? with a bullet from Saudi security forces. Because apparently, freedom of speech doesn't apply to those who dare challenge the mighty MBS. But wait, it gets even more sinister. On October 2nd, 2022, three other men from the Huaytat tribe were sentenced to death by Saudi Arabia's criminal court. Their crime? Refusing to leave their homes. C can we just take a moment to let that sink in? Death sentences for defying eviction orders? That's some twisted logic right there. It's heartbreaking to witness these blatant human rights abuses, especially when they occur under the cloak of progress and development. While the shiny brochures for the line promise a multicultural utopia and a home for all, the reality is quite different. Indigenous communities like the Huaytat tribe are being forcefully displaced to make way for this futuristic mega project. But hey, who needs human rights and the well-being of marginalized communities when you can have mirrored skylines, artificial beaches, and omnipresent facial recognition security cameras? Right? Priorities, people. Priorities. Let's not allow the bold architectural proposals of the line to overshadow the injustices being inflicted upon these vulnerable communities. It's time to shine a light on the dark side of this grand vision and demand accountability from those responsible. Because no mirage of progress can ever be built upon a foundation of human rights abuses. And that is no laughing matter, my friends. As we conclude this exploration of the line, it becomes evident that this grand project raises more questions than answers. While promising a futuristic utopia, it challenges us to examine the real costs. Environmental, social, and human. The displacement of indigenous tribes, environmental concerns, and the stark contrast between luxury and accessibility all cast a shadow on the grand vision. The line may symbolize innovation, but it must not obscure the pressing issues within Saudi Arabia. It's essential that we see beyond the mirage, question the narrative, and demand accountability for human rights abuses and environmental impact. True progress requires more than just a sleek facade. It demands genuine reform. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel for more amazing content. Till next time, cheers.